Hi, I'm Gary White with Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Deborah Taylor T, who is with Barktown Rescue here in Bardstown in Nelson County. And we have a little friend with us. This is Louise, right, Louise? That's hi. Right. <laughs> she said Louise, hi. Louise, <laughs> yes, she's saying hi. She's saying yeah. hi. Um, uh, tell us a little about Louise. Louise is one of our transplants from Texas. She's, uh, she came to us um, out of Texas. She's a very sweet, sweet girl. Um, I, we have a feeling that um, she was abused by uh, men in her life, uh, boys or men, and she isn't always as receptive to males, but so she's so sweet. She's right. very sweet. Um, she's house trained and crate trained, good with people and kids, and um, would make, make someone a great, great friend, companion. Now, how old is Louise? Louise is two. She's okay, two years girl. old, yeah. so she still has a lot of good years left ahead Absolutely. of her when she finds a forever home. And she is what? Kind of, she's a mud, a mixture. She's a mud, she's a mud puppy, but she's a, a we think a, a Jack Russell, Russell West, terrier that. mix. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you're very pretty. <laughs> she's got gorgeous eyes. She's yes. just got the most adorable face, and uh, the coloring. It looks like maybe a little heart here on her back. She's mm -hmm. just looking for, looking for a loving home. She has the brown and the white, like one of my dogs does. So she, you're very, very pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> very pretty well, Bardstown girl. Bardstown Rescue is a no-kill shelter here in Bardstown. And we're trying to spotlight some of the pets that are available. And it's called Barktown Rescue, so they have dogs, obviously. But they also have some cats now, I hear, right? Yes, indeed, Gary. We have cats. Um, we have uh, cats that are in foster care. Also cats. Kittens at the shelter. This is a primary time of year when a lot of kittens are born. Um, our neighboring county, Hardin County, is overrun with cats right now and kittens. We may be getting some of those. Um, it is a kill shelter in Hardin County, and so once they are full, um, the felines start losing their lives. So um, to help them out, we'll, we'll take in some cats at, at Barktown Rescue and try to find foster homes wherever we can. And, of course, adoptive families, cat lovers who... who one another, yes. another feline friend. That's right. Would you like a feline friend there, Louise? <laughs> Just like, why not? But we want to make a, uh, let people know, when we say a no-kill shelter, that means that any animal that Barktown Rescue takes in will, will stay alive. They won't, you will not euthanize them if they run out of space or what have you. You're per, you'll try and find either a permanent home or a foster home or keep them in a shelter. You won't actually uh, euthanize the pet. That's right, Gary. Um, that's one reason we were so excited about the new building. Our grand opening was Saturday. It went so well. There is 3,000 square feet of space out there. We've got a room for boarding animals. There's rooms for small dogs and big dogs and cats. And um, a big, they're fencing in the backyard now so that the dogs can run out and play. Um, and the cats, you know, kind of can roam around once mm -hmm. they once they've, uh, if they haven't found a home, they have, they have a nice big space that they can, that is their shelter and home until they can find a loving home uh, to take them in. But it's uh, no kill. We don't kill animals at this shelter. Um, we will foster, find foster homes. We will have the space there to take care of as many as, as we need to and hopefully that number dwindles right. rather than grows, but Absolutely. Absolutely. we're prepared. So when you do take your pet, if you're in whatever county, some of the different counties do have shelters. What makes Barktown Rescue unique is that it is a no-kill shelter, and that's what we're meaning by a no-kill versus a kill shelter. When county, a lot of county shelters get full, they do actually end up having to euthanize the pet, and uh, that dog or cat will be put to sleep. So. Uh, fortunately, Barktown Rescue doesn't do that. There are two ways you can help Barktown Rescue. One is by donating to them because, as we say, we want to keep it a no-kill shelter, but that does take money to take care of the pets with food, health care, and also just any way, you know, anything they need. Right? That's right. Spaying and neutering is a big part of it. Um, mm -hmm. We, we try work with the vets in the area 
to have pets spayed and neutered, encourage pet owners to have pets spayed or neutered so maybe our facility won't be full all the time. Right. Um, but it is, it is costly to feed and care for these animals. We do have to pay the veterinarians for shots, right. for uh, flea, and treat, uh, flea treatment, heartworms, all of, the, all of the things that go along with taking right. care of an animal and making sure that they're safe for your home and uh, their health is, is priority. That's right. And as uh, Deborah mentioned, the spaying and neutering is a second thing. No matter for your pets, please do get them spayed or neutered because that Absolutely. will help as well with uh, the population issues. And then hopefully the ones that do get born will have space for them, be able to keep them and have them uh, adopted. That's right. So we also though, quickly want to mention too, the fundraisers that you have going on. We have the Bark Bash, which is coming up on June the 28th. And that is a new fundraiser that we have going on for Barktown Rescue, right? Yes. And you can find information on their website for that, barkbash.com. That's right? it. That's, right? that's it. Barkbash.com. And then if you want to find out more about Louise and about the other animals up for adoption, you can go to barktownrescue.org. Mm -hmm. and, and see pictures of Louise, who's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And then you can also see pictures of the other pets. And I believe there was a Thelma. We have Louise, there was a Thelma, but Thelma's been adopted. Thelma was adopted. She's actually undergoing a, a surgery on her leg uh, before, I guess, she is in, effectively, mm -hmm. in her home or um, so that she's all taken care of and ready, ready to be that forever companion. Right. Um, but yes, Thelma was adopted. We had five applications for adoptions on our grand opening Saturday, right. which, mm -hmm. was, which was awesome. Thanks to everyone who came out to tour the facility, to meet the animals that we have up for adoption. And uh, he purchased something in the bake sale or the yard sale. Uh, Barktown was able to raise more than $1,200 and that's Super. significant amount for, for our shelter. Yep. The That's Bark great. Bash, we hope, mm -hmm. will raise even more money, though. It is right. a bigger ticket event, um, as it should be. Big mm -hmm. Black Cadillac is performing. Uh, Lady Fingers is catering. And uh, tickets are on sale locally at Artist Barrel, Bella Salon and Spa, Bardstown Mills, Liquor World, and Special Pets. Please, we encourage you, if you plan to attend, get your tickets now. Next week, we turn in numbers to the caterer, caterer, and we want to make sure we have plenty of the great food there for all of our guests. That's right. And we want to help raise a lot of money so we can take care of uh, Louise here, as well as all of the other ones that are available for adoption at Barktown Rescue. And you can go to barktownrescue.org, again, to see pictures of all those pets. That's right. That's great. right. Well, thank you very much. Yes. Do you know that um, we had a huge donation for toward our fundraiser in the silent auction and the raffles? Bruce, the gentleman who purchased the building and donated it to Barktown Rescue, is donating 10 days in Rio de Janeiro at his condo there oh, to be raffled off at the event to raise money for Barktown. So there's a week in Gulf Shores. There's 10 days in his condo in Rio de Janeiro. That Super. alone would yeah. save a lot of, of money on a South American vacation. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. But a lot of great items. We hope to see you there. Please get your mm -hmm. tickets now at BarkBash.com or um, at any of our local retailers. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And again, we'll have another pet available. And hopefully next week we're actually going to tour the new facility yes. that we have. And that is all the old Boston School. And the address there? 295. Petersburg Road in Boston. Um, Are there set hours currently for that? Um, go the there's website? someone there. Uh, they, we have an apartment set up there for someone so that there's always someone there with the animals. Okay, um, fantastic. But we'll be there uh, you, our, at our normal time, our lunch time uh, hour or whatever mm -hmm. to, right. to um, discuss, show you the facility, tour the facility, and meet some of the other great pets we have there. But go to Barktown rescue.org and go to barkbash.com to find out more about the event and the animals available. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. All right, this has been Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. <laughs>